So this is going to be another forest walk vlog. I'm sorry if it's boring because I keep going to the same place but I don't have anywhere else to go at the moment because I'm just on foot. This is where you saw he was walking down like a cowboy. It's dusty. I feel like I'm going to tumble down or something and scrape up my legs. I hope that doesn't happen because I already hit my legs on a car door and scraped it up pretty bad. So once you get down here, I have to climb up another hill. There, it looks like somebody's gone through the trail and thrashed it so that it's not so overgrown, which is nice. And here I go. I may go up the steep side today, I'm not sure. So, that was a little hill I just came up. And forgive me for my heavy breathing. <laughs> and it's fairly warm in this area. As you can see, the sun's shining. I'm pretty well protected in the canopy of the trees. It's just, it's cooler than it would be out there. But, yeah, it's pretty darn warm. If you're wondering where Hugo is today, he's still I'm with him, but he's at home. He's had to walk home a lot from work, so I didn't ask him to go on a walk with me because he's tired of walking. It's pretty. The light shines on everything. So pretty. So very pretty. I know I keep saying that, but I just can't get over how pretty it is here in the woods. So it's not a very exciting outfit of the day. I'm wearing shorts, which I don't like wearing shorts because I look terrible in them. But I'm wearing shorts and my school shirt and probably going to take this short sleeve hoodie off. Um, not wearing a necklace because it's way too hot for a necklace. Not wearing my ring because it's too hot and my fingers swell up in the heat. I just have ponytails. I do have earrings on. My sunglasses and simple makeup that I did for church. I do have my God's Not Dead bracelet off. Off? Off? On? So yeah, I am just tromping through the woods. So I'm going to pause for a moment once I get to my favorite spot so that I can just pray and praise God and thank Him for His creation. And down another hill. Your slug. This is a really pretty little glen here. Looks like there would be fairies living in there. Look at the light shines in the ferns back there. So pretty. Here I go up the hill. Not much of a hill, but get 
in the exercise. That's the important thing. Let's warm up some already. Oh wow. There's another hill up there. I have to figure out where that goes. So at the top of this hill, which is unexplored territory, there's a very tiny trail there. I'm not sure how narrow it gets down there. That's where I came from. And this is where I'm going. I'm just gonna stop walking for a second. Oh my goodness, there's a butterfly over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so pretty. That's my blessing. It's hard to see, but it might fly away. Oh, it did fly away. I tried to get closer, but that was really pretty. I have this thing. I'll tell you in a minute. Look at this tree. It almost looks like it's going to come alive and grab you. It's cool. It's like the walloping willow or whatever that was called in Harry Potter. I, before I go on this hill, I'll tell you what I was talking about. Anyway, so what I was talking about was where I used to live, there was a trail, I've talked about it before in my videos, and so I kind of created this kingdom in my mind one day when I was riding my bike, back when I had a bike, um, and I called it Zion, after Zion in the Bible, and I thought of all the animals as being different parts of the kingdom of God, like the butterflies were the princes and princesses birds were the warriors, and the dragonflies were the messengers. <laughs> so yeah, I would go out there and just kind of be happy and think about that. It was like I was in my own little private heaven. You gotta see this canopy. It is amazing. It's bigger than you'd probably imagine because, okay, here's my eye level right here. But if you were to look at it from the ground, you can see how high up it is. It's just so pretty. Such a canopy of trees. So I'm going to go down that hill and see where I end up. I'm really glad I did this today. For a second, I started to chicken out because of the heat and because I was sleepy. I thought about taking a nap, but I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to pop an allergy pill and head on out. And so yeah. See those? I think those are called organ grapes. I know they're not edible, but at least not by humans, I don't think, but I remember learning about something like that in outdoor school. where we learned about the flora and the fauna. Learned about licorice ferns that grow out of the side of trees. Um, I haven't seen any of those yet. Learned about devil's hooks. Don't want to come across one of those. They're very, very sharp, spiny, hooked thorns. Wow, that is one big tree this tree out. Look how far it goes up. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is one amazing tree. I feel like I'm being close to the neighborhood. don't really like that because you can hear the road. That disappoints me. 
because it makes me feel like I'm not out in the woods anymore, you know, because I'm close to civilization. I kind of think this is going to loop around and go back up the really steep hill that I wanted to go on, but we'll see. Maybe I did take this before. I don't know, though. I can't remember. I know I didn't vlog it. So that really narrow path I showed you a while ago connects right here to where I am. So if I would have cut through there, I just would have cut off some space. But that's okay, because I got a good hike up a, a small incline. <laughs> Hence why I'm breathing hard. Whew. It is like a mild sauna in the woods. But like I said, I know it's worse out there outside the woods, so I'm not really looking forward to leaving. Check out how that tree just twisted and ripped and fell into the other tree. Wonder when and how that happened. And I discovered I am back where I started. Um, not the very beginning, but beginning of a new area I went on and it just loops all the way around. So now I know I want to go on a nice loop hike. That's the way to go. If I want to leave and go up to the school and play on the swings with you, and then I'll go up those stairs. So now I know. So I am going to head back to my favorite spot and then go home. So I wiped it out. Did see another bump. Oh crap, I just got scratched up. Just ran into those branches right there. Scratched my arm, but I'm okay. So, with the sun shining in my eyes, I'm going to say that I'm sweating and I'm hot, tired, I'm going home now. And uh, so back to civilization. There's a cell tower up there, a water tower, which I would love to climb, but you can't go beyond the fence. Um, but it would be cool to go up there. And then over there's Mount Rainier in the distance. There's apartments down there. It's where my mom, sister, and you will live. In the distance, I don't know if you can see it, there is the Capitol building. I can't zoom in, sorry. I don't think I can do that with this. Oh, I can. Well, there's the Capitol building. And then on the other side, there's another water tower across town. That's the monster hill I climbed, just that side of town. And then there's the bay down there, downtown. This is called Overlook Park. And now I am going home. Bye.